hi guys uh, so i wanted to further uh, take the analysis done by there are uh, no forest on uh, flat earth uh, video into the depths of our oceans and i can tell you that the evidence that we have in the oceans is even more incredible guys uh, and i i found that uh, uh, the water that we see around us is just a for chemical purpose just for uh, purification of the silicon uh, element they get uh, while mining so i would uh, jump right in uh, to the deepest uh, point on earth and as we all know it's a mariana trench and it's in southeast asia in the pacific ocean and uh, this place is completely surrounded by volcano guys even uh, we know a ring of fire we will know why it is so unstable because they dug this entire pacific ocean more than even the surface of the earth that we are seeing and we have the largest number of volcanoes in this region in fact the largest volcano in the entire world is tamu massif it was actually in in hawaii mauna ki which is also closer to uh, mariana trench in pacific ocean but uh, this tamu massif is just 1000 uh, miles away from the deepest point uh, uh, in the ocean but uh, this 1000 may look uh, a long distance uh, but if you consider the size of uh, tamu massif it's actually uh, the size of uh, united kingdom guys so it's so massive uh, they thought that they had many volcanoes in tamu massif and uh, but it is now recognized as a one single uh, vol uh, volcano and the largest second volcano in the world mauna ki is just 2% of what this is guys so what i believe is while they were digging Mari uh, mariana trench they put the waste a in here so we can go to daily mail or some of the mainstream articles so this is how uh, the waste is piled up here and uh, as we can see a giant volcano that covers uh, the same area as the whole of uk has been discovered buried deep beneath the pacific ocean so it's just 1000 miles east of they are just giving the direction and uh, we'll come here is the tamu massif and just near it in this range is uh, mariana trench and here they are giving the size of it tam tamu massif covers an area of uh, about 120000 square miles an area roughly equivalent to the british isles and here uh, the largest volcano on earth is hawaii's mauna loa that covers approximately 2000 square miles just 2% of the size of uh, manu Uh, tamu massif so as we can see uh, guys uh, the volcanoes under the ocean are even like 1000 times bigger than what we are uh, seeing on the surface so they dug and they mined more uh, in the ocean than what we are seeing on the surface so uh, here is uh, the depth they are telling so they dug in around 10000 uh, meters around 10 kilometers Uh, six six around 6.8 miles so they went more deeper into the ocean that we know as ocean than they climbed mount everest guys so if we look at the uh, uh, surface of uh, mariana trench it looks like someone has run over so you can see the axis mariana trench axis so they were digging this area complete and this there are a lot of uh, volcanoes uh, around the mariana trench as well so they are calling it well volcanic bridges across the abyss so this for the place where they dug in the mining was done and uh, if we look into the highest point mount everest is 8.9 kilometers around 4 miles and the deepest point uh, mariana trench is uh, 10 kilometers around 5 miles so if we add both it's around it comes around uh, 10 kilometers uh, sorry 18 kilometers and if you divide by half it's 9 so either they dug below like uh, 10 kilometers below like 5 miles below and 5 miles above so what we can at least uh, say that uh, they dug uh, they took around uh, 10 miles of surface from planet earth so 10 miles of uh, silicon was removed uh, from earth so we'll uh, further see the extent of mining 
when we remove water uh, ocean water from the surface of earth we can see the extent of mining done uh, what we think as ocean so i think uh, it was earth was a complete crystal ball guys or earth flat earth we'll come to that later but it was completely made of crystal and this is uh, the uh, mariana trench and all these uh, scars and all these mountains these are by the way uh, uh, volcan volcanic uh, uh, pits or uh, volcanic mountains and this is the extent of digging the surface of united states the boundary it's just the marker and uh, we can uh, now we can uh, go to ring of fire i believe this is the most uh, dug area by the aliens or whoever dug this place so we have the highest number of vol volcanoes in the entire world in this ring of fire it is not on the surface guys even mount st helens and everything uh, comes in ring of fire so what we saw in uh, on earth surface is just a minuscule extent to the uh, compared to the uh, scale of mining they did on planet earth so if we look into the ring of fire we can see the amount the number of volcanoes are surrounding the ring of fire and as we know pacific ocean is the deepest uh, surface uh, in the uh, in the entire world so pacific ocean is already dug so much and they put the waste around it so i think that uh, the water uh, surrounding uh, the surface are actually the station grounds this is the surface they stayed in and did all their research and uh, their office was in uh, on the surface and the water covering was where the uh, heavy mining was going on so we will see in southeast asia indonesia it's completely covered the most active volcanoes are in indonesia guys so as we can see the extent of uh, volcanoes active and non active it is completely covered with volcanoes aka waste from their mining now we come to ring of fire so even it says that uh, wikipedia but we cannot trust but for statics purpose i am just stopping this sorry it has 452 volcanoes more than 75% of the active uh, and dormant volcanoes are in uh, ring of fire and about 90% of world's earthquake and 81% of world's largest earthquake uh, occur along the ring of fire so i think uh, they completely dug out the ring of fire area guys this was the area where they did massive mining guys so i think uh, now it was not himalayas or uh, antarctica or uh, usa or russia that was just minuscule guys the most uh, mining took place uh, in ring of fire because uh, more 75% of uh, uh, volcanoes uh, are in ring of fire itself and 90% of earthquakes so i think that the earth is unstable because of extensive mining and there could have been a crack in the core of earth crystal uh silicon crystal ball or uh, so that is the reason we are feeling uh, even now uh, earthquakes because a lot of cracks might have developed in the crystal i will uh, come to that later why earth cannot ever produce a, a carbon based life form it can only produce uh, silicon life uh, and it doesn't need water silicon don't need water because if silicon combines with the water it actually dissolves so earth don't need water to survive it's only carbon based life forms like us who need uh, water uh, to survive so ring of fire we can see uh, most of the volcanoes are in this region and uh, this region is also the most uh, deep so now uh, i will uh, come